I don't know if taking all stars for the opening was a good idea or not, but I definitely don't regret it, but with that I welcome you to the super unicum how guide nobody asked for. Finally a new video for me to work on. If you noticed there was a small break in between my video schedule, so there was no video last week, at least I hope somebody noticed. So let's stop talking about me, and let's focus on the HMS How. The Howe is a British battleship that was constructed shortly before the Second World War happened, so it is actually a ship that existed, not like almost the entire Russian ship line. It is a KGV class battleships, so you can actually make an entire back fleet with only KGV ships, what an excitement. But to be fair, this would be rather a challenge for you to make this game harder, since who likes Prince of Wales anyway, but how do you get this ships, and is it even worth it? Well the second question is kinda useless for the people that don't have her, since it is an event exclusive one. I know I know, people simply love it, when I do ships they can get again in approximately one year. I'm certainly a good as a lame content creator with such an idea, but we should stop talking about my terrible upload schedule and finally looks at the stats and perks. First we would have her survivability, how was a modest amount of health, comfortable sitting between Monarch and Duke of York, already showing how scary she is simply by putting her above Monarch. Just ignore the fact that King George has for some reason 3 more hit points. But we don't stop here, we also have the evasion with a whopping amount of 35 points, it's not terrible, but definitely not standing out with this. But what is standing out is her firepower, in some way at least. It has quite the punch with 418 points in that, it is not the highest amount, not even coming close to ships, like War Spite or the Russian Balance, but as a wise man once said, the firepower is not that only matter, also the perks are important. Did you already expect that I said that? Good joke. Also that might be mentioning is that she has pretty good reload, so you can actually shoot pretty often with this ship. Last we would have her anti-air, in that you also have pretty average stats, even a little above. How is not particularly shining in any of the stats, but for that she is for sure above average in everyone. So like I said, has pretty good anti-air with decent efficiency. Well on that point we finished with the stats. Let's now talk about the perks that are totally not broken or anything like that. How has a total of 2 perks which is enough for this ship, trust me on that. First we have synchronized strike, and no it does not what it says, at least not fully. 15 seconds after the battle starts you fire a special barrage at a random enemy. In addition to that it increases the reload and accuracy of all battleships in the fleet by 20% for 8 seconds. A really spicy perk, if you ask me, it gives you damage at the beginning of the battle, and also increases the reload of other ships. The only downside would be that it fires at a random enemy, but that's pretty much it. Next on we have Covenant of the Immortal Knights, one of the longest names I ever heard for a skill. It has two gimmicks, the first one is that it increases the firepower and reload by 12% till the battle ends. So right at the start you get a firepower increases what is pretty nice, but we don't stop here. The second part of the perk is the interesting one. Since you get again a firepower and AA increases by 12%, if you take any of these ships, or you simply take two Royal Navy ships with you. So that means, you get a total increase of 24% in firepower, what is totally not broken, am I right? Well anyway, let's get over the equipment now. First the main battery gun, how relies mostly on her barrage damage, so you want definitely a barrage gun. So for the poor people under you, I can absolutely recommend you the triple 406mm guns, it is cheap, it is good, and everyone has it. For the people that play the game, 
I say the twin 406mm is one of the best ones. Has nice reload, which also helps with activating the barrage over and over again. For the cruiser gun, well, what can I say, like always take the triple 155mm guns, there is not much other choice what else you can take, I mean yes you can different guns, but it would be simply a waste of resources. Now the AA gun, you don't rely so much on the hitting your target like other ships, but on the other hand you don't want to miss the target in the first place. So the twin 40mm bow 4 star 2 is a nice choice. Or you can go for just DPS, and take the quadruple 40mm bow fours, since why the fuck not. And now the auxiliary equipment, since you already got an increased reload we want to meme it even more, so you take a high performance fire control radar, to increase the fire power and the accuracy, but the most important stuff is the reduces cooldown for the first shelling by 15%, so that means you get the first shot in seconds out. To that you can take yourself a white shell, otherwise if you don't have the radar, you can take yourself a super heavy shell and you are ready to go. Well that was it with the equipment. So now the big question is this ship worth it? Yes definitely, it is one of the most broken ship in my opinion, and with her you can easily clear stages, just take a monarch and centaur, and you are ready to go. So don't forget to subscribe, and until next time your potato nick.